Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a quick look at how to use the auto text feature. So what that's all about is the ability to be able to do things like this. Just type a word or key phrase and you can see the little tip comes up there. And when I press enter, I get a paragraph of auto text, which I've already saved. And if I just type another one ending again, press enter and there's a paragraph. Now those are paragraphs that I've added in Word, you can also type things like equals rand with an open and close bracket. And when you press enter, it gives you some random text. So if I just undo that. Now, if you type equals rand with an open bracket and then qualify it with a one, you want one paragraph and then a comma and three sentences. If you do it like that, you don't get as much like so. So if I get myself a, a blank screen so you can see that a little better. So equals rand open bracket. I want one paragraph of three sentences. So when I press enter, you get that. You can also um, type in um, other things like, um, like so, and you get some text, which is obviously not in English. But it's just text that you can then manipulate if you're trying to demonstrate something in Word. So center align that text, right align, justify that text. So just get to give you some text. And while I'm on about key commands, I'll just get rid of all of this. If you do um, Alt Shift T, it gives you the time. Alt Shift D gives you the date. And Alt Shift P gives you the page number. Now, if I just show you how that page number would work, these are fields. So these will update, um, like tomorrow that'll say the 18th and that'll change. If I save this file, close it and then reopened it, whatever the time was, it would tell me. If I do a hard page break there, control and enter, that still says one, but if I highlight it and do F9, the F9 function key, which updates fields, you can see it says two. So that would that is what it says on the tin. And then the other thing you can do um, is this. If I just um, get myself another document, blank. If I do um, Shift F9, uh, not Shift F9, Control F9, I get these two brackets. And inside those brackets, you can use a, a Word as a little calculator. Now, I know you can do insert form, and I've got other videos which explains how to do that. And you can do this inside um tables but if i go equals two plus three when i press um f9 that just gives you the answer so you can use this as a quick ready reckoner so it's control f9 gives you the brackets and then equals 45 times 10 and then just f9 to finish it off gives you the answer. So all those are just examples of quick shortcuts to get stuff on the screen. But the auto text that I want to focus on in this little session is done like this. So I need to um, just open the document and show you how I do it. So if I open the document, control O, get myself up into examples and then to Word 2020, indent is what I want. There's some just random text. So what you need to do to use the auto text, and the same applies in Outlook. If you want to use auto text in Outlook, you just double click, highlight it in the margin. That's what I want. And then you go insert, and then over the right, it's in quick parts. And then you can use this option, save to the auto text gallery, or you can go in there. It's an extra step, really. Save to auto text gallery. Give it a name. I'll call it Start because I've already got one called Intro. It's in the Auto Text Gallery straight away. That's great. And then you can categorize it if you want. So you can see I've got lots of different categories. General is what you normally have it on. Now, these categories are more to do with um, rationalizing how you want the chunks of text to sit. But, uh, and some more advanced courses or sessions that I've done, you can see how you can bring in several elements from different categories into a form which is a great feature, but that's all you do. This can stay on normal. Okay to that. You can obviously put a description in there if you want. Okay to that. So I'll do that again. Double click and highlight the whole paragraph. Quick parts, the auto text option, 
save to the auto text gallery i'll call this finish it's in the right place it's in general i'm not going to put a description okay to that now if i get myself a new document i can then type um, start comes up with a tip press enter now if i didn't want to press enter so i want to use the word start i'll just do a space and carry on as normal and then finish there comes the tip and there you go now also if i just um, highlight all of them get rid of that you can do this if i go insert let's do a table i'll highlight that i'll go insert quick parts auto text save to the gallery call it um table one say it's in general that'll do okay undo that type table enter there you go i'll get my table same with if i want a default chart i can insert a default chart so it's ready to rock and roll get rid of that then i just save that into the auto text options quick part the auto text options gallery now it's just come up with an asterisk so if i call this chart it's in the right place auto text okay delete that off type chart now i haven't got the little tip for this object so i'm typing chart every other thing i've done has come up i've pressed enter there table comes up with a tip but for objects like charts and and smart art objects you need to do this so i'll type chart i'm now doing fn f3 on my computer or just f3 if you've got a full keyboard and then that activates it you would also if i just get rid of all this control a delete you'd also have to do that um, f3 key or use the f3 key if you've only named something a couple of letters so let's see if i can get that to show you that so if i highlight this again and save this as sax sax which is my nickname click ok to that and then if i type sax i don't get the tip coming up so i would have to if i wanted to activate this use the f3 key function f3 and then i get it so really you should name things more than three characters to get the the tip coming up so you can see um that it's, it's picked it up now the other thing you can do is if i want some of these and you'd only do this if you're using these all the time and you want this sort of um let's go for relations let's say i, I quite often use this little funnel to, i want that to be available um i don't need that same thing as long as it's highlighted the whole thing's highlighted insert quick parts auto text save to the gallery give it a name so i'll call it org and it's less than four characters so okay delete it type org nothing comes up use the f3 function key and then it comes up so that's how you can use auto text and you can grab whole chunks of text pages and pages of text you can use it almost as a, like a template um, for for things that are standard phrases or paragraphs you just save them to auto text and you can bring them into any document and then off you go from there now in terms of outlook if i just um, go into a new message on outlook so this is my signature so if i highlight that and uh, in outlook you go insert um quick parts if i can find it i can't find it quick parts there it is auto text save and i'll i will call this sax and that's it okay redefine this block and i've already got one called sax i'll say yes and then if i type sax there and go f3 it just drops in so in, in outlook you could create quite a few different endings to a, to a message or an email but in the same way as we typed intro in word it doesn't carry across into outlook it used to in the old days i'm going back a million years you'll have to redo those again if you wanted to drop paragraphs in but i have seen people use the signature block um to do 
what auto text should be doing. I don't, it works, but I don't believe that you should be putting paragraphs in here and giving it a name and then um, doing it like that because this is formatted sometimes and you might not want it formatting. So what you should do is just drop the paragraph in, highlight it in the same way, go through the same process and have them in quick parts and you just use the words. If you can't remember the words, you get the list there, look, of what there is in terms of quick parts. So that's um, Outlook, if I just come back out of that. That is really loud. Let's get rid of the sound. I don't know why it's on 100%. Just cancel that off. And then back into Word. And just a quick so intro. Enter. Org. Not four characters. So you're going to have to use the F3 function key. And chart. Even though it's five characters, still needs the F3 three key to activate it but then you're, you're ready to go um, to edit these things if you if you want to so that's all i wanted to talk about in this little session that is auto text and hopefully you enjoyed that and i'll see you on the next one